Hello there friends and followers and welcome to this Microsoft Flight Simulator video. Today we are going to be reviewing a product by FS Academy called IFR. IFR is a tool that was developed by a real world airline captain and essentially it is an instrument flight training tool for Flight Simulator 2020. What we are going to be doing in this video is I am going to be showing you uh, what the product offers and I will state my opinion, my unbiased opinion as to whether I think this product is worth the investment or not. As a disclaimer, I do wish to disclose the fact that the developer has provided me with a review copy but I went ahead and purchased uh, my own copy Tower from the Sim Market Sierra, Store Sierra, um, as a way of supporting the developer as well as uh, ensuring that Robin my Alpha, review Sierra, and Sierra, recommendations are completely unbiased. So without further ado, let's get started. Let us quickly cover the installation process, which is quite simple. Upon the successful purchase of FS Academy IFR and downloading the zip file, the only thing you need to do is unzip the contents of the zip file to a folder of your choice. Once you've done so, you can simply select the IFR folder here and move it to your community folder in your Microsoft Flight Simulator installation. We're going to copy the file, head over to Microsoft Flight Simulator installation, community folder, right click and paste. I have already the file pasted here as you can see. And the installation process is now complete. The next thing I'd like to point your attention to is the FS Academy IFR manual. This manual contains a wealth of information again prepared by a real world airline captain. It's got useful information uh, that will help you through all the lessons provided to you in this package. As you can see here, we have the basic IFR, we have the partial panel, NDB, VOR tracking analog, NDB, VOR tracking, the G1000, holding patterns, VOR approaches, NDB approaches, and so on and so forth. As you can see here, there are a total of 12 IFR lessons that will definitely teach you quite a bit in terms of IFR flying. Once you have successfully installed FS Academy IFR, you will be able to access the content through the activities and then push trips menu. As you can see, we have all the lessons now listed here. For the purposes of this review, we are going to be taking a look at the very first lesson here, basic IFR. We're gonna click on the lesson and we're gonna click on fly now. Welcome to Shoreham on the UK South Coast where we'll begin our study of instrument flying by starting with the basics. Make sure to take a look through the manual as you progress to arm you with the knowledge you'll need. It doesn't take much for the weather to close in and prevent visual flight. Anytime the conditions at an airfield are worse than 1500 feet cloud base and 5 kilometers visibility, flying visually is not permitted. This is when an instrument rating is there to help you Flight on instruments alone requires accurate and smooth handling, so we'll look at doing some handling practice with the conventional Cessna 152 with analog gauges. Complete your checks and when you're ready to go, taxi ahead to the holding point of runway 20. The first thing I want to say is that I appreciate the fact that real human voices were recorded uh, throughout these uh, lessons uh, by FS Academy. So that is, is something I really appreciate. Uh, the sequencing of these uh, voices is done quite well uh, in my view, as we will witness in a few moments. So what we are gonna do now is we are gonna release the parking brake and we're gonna give it a little bit of power and head over to runway 20. Right, here we go. Foxtrot Sierra Alpha Charlie cleared line up and take off runway 20 wind calm. 
as you can Take see again. Take off and head south, climbing to altitude 2,000 feet. All right, so as you can see, the uh, controller uh, is, again, a real human-recorded uh, voice, and uh, it, it really is, uh, you know, it immerses you in, in the lesson, and, you know, you feel that uh, there is a real human uh, speaking to you. Uh, so that's definitely a plus. Uh, the sequencing of these sounds is done quite well. Uh, so as we came to turn, um, as we approach runway 20, you know, we heard the clearance from the tower uh, to take off. All right, let's go ahead and take off and climb to 2,000 feet. We're going to give it full power. A little bit of uh, wind there. And we'll rotate it about 60 knots. 60 knots and rotate. And we're going to climb to 2,000 feet. And we're going to maintain uh, our heading to the south. The climb rate for the Cessna 152 is about 800 feet per minute. Here we go, that looks good, about 70 knots. The first thing we're going to try is leveling off at an altitude. As discussed in the manual, there is a rule of thumb for choosing when to begin reducing your vertical speed to achieve a smooth and reliable level off. Use 10% of your current vertical speed to work out when to begin the level off. The 152 climbs at about 800 feet per minute so start leveling off with 80 feet to go. That's at 1,920 feet here. All right, so we're approaching the uh, altitude where Level we're off here and maintain an altitude of 2,000 right, feet. There we go. Start leveling off All of here. the turns you make flying IFR are to be made in the same way. This is a constant rate of turn of three degrees per second called a rate one turn. To achieve this, use another rule of thumb. Take 10% of your airspeed and add 7. This figure is the target bank angle for a rate 1 turn. Turning a rate 1, you'll perform a 180 after 1 minute and a 360 after 2 minutes. Try to make all your turns throughout your IFR flying at a rate 1 turn. For example, if you're flying at 100 knots, 10% of 100 is 10, add 7, gives 17 degrees bank angle. Now turn left to a heading of 090 degrees. Well folks, here are my concluding remarks on FS Academy IFR. The tool in itself, in my view, is a very well-crafted, well-developed tool. It offers a wealth of information, both through the 12 lessons available in the simulator as well as the accompanying manual. If you are looking to sharpen your instrument flight rule flying skills, or you're just wanting to learn the ropes of IFR flying, this product is definitely for you. I believe it will bring a wealth of knowledge to your uh, flying experience. This product sells today at the Sim Market store for under 20 pounds. In my view, this price is slightly overpriced, uh, for what the product offers uh, simply because you do not get any ratings of how well you uh, executed your mission and you also do not get any uh, corrections or tips from your instructor um, as you execute the commands given to you throughout the lesson. Well folks, this is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this review of FS Academy IFR. I hope that you have found this review useful and insightful as it is always the case. If you have any questions, please do post them in the comments section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other and I will see you all very soon.